I said at the end of the last episode, but this episode is kind of a follow on from that where we're going to do more organizing of our town. But also, we're actually going to get into a lot of questing and some storyline quests and stuff like that today. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Here we go. I had a comment here from Dwayne Johnson once again, and thank you for this comment. And part of this comment says, but apparently donkeys can carry more than horses. So what I want to do is actually look at this and uh, see if that's true. So let's get off of this horse right here and just double check. So right now, this horse with the large saddlebag can carry 75 kilos. Okay, great. So let's take that out now and get on a donkey and see if this is any different. Okay, let's, let's saddle up this donkey and then we need to ride it to start off because then when we go into our inventory, let's see if we go to X right here, we can go on to... Oh, wait, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to press H so I can switch to mounts inventory. Okay, so uh, that there I want to get back so hold on x again my bad uh, i was just seeing about the saddlebag i want to get that in there so okay okay so now we're on the donkey if we open up our inventory right here on the uh large saddlebag if we hold down x that'll put it over in uh the mount wait what what's this did i not have my backpack equipped this whole time wow i actually don't think i've had that equipped for quite a while um that is definitely my bad. That will obviously really increase my uh, carry weight there as well. Anyway, over at the mount, if we put on the large saddlebag right here, uh, it can actually take 85. So it can take more than our horse can. So it's slower, but it carries a lot more. That is so cool that they've added that into the game. Um, like, I'm not sure how realistic it is. You look at the size difference of these guys, right? But it's kind of cool that they've done it because it gives the donkey a purpose even when you get horses. Like right now, what we're going to do, let's see, we're, we're here... Let's go chop some trees down, like, I don't know, maybe up this way. I'm trying to find as many big trees as I can, chop them down. Maybe like this one right here, like ones that are a bit further away from the town, though. Um, yeah, that's so cool. So Claude is back in the game. In fact, is this even Claude? I don't even know who this is. We'll check when we stop. I just grabbed whatever donkey was there to test this out. But that's really useful to know. As you can see, now the wood over here and the demand for it, we've got about three and a half days worth of firewood, so that's enough to be getting on with. If we look at the woodshed as well, this is the stage that we're currently at. So I've got it to be producing seven logs per day and about five of those uh, will be turned into five or five firewood per day, I should say. So we'll get a surplus of logs each day from doing that. We do want to get a second worker in here though. We, we're aware of that, so that'll go up. And this will just like help us out a bit, but we might have to do some of our own stuff as well. Having the second person though is definitely going to really help with that. Anyway, once again, it's gotten to be uh, nighttime, so I am going to need to uh, sleep. Once I've slept, then we can uh, have another look at uh, what else needs to be cleared, because obviously the notifications will then come back up. Another new season, and it is time to once again pay our taxes. So let's see where we're at with that, how much do we actually owe in tax. Uh, 7,100, so we've got right now about double that almost, right? So that's not too bad. We're going to ride into Piastovia and pay the taxes ourselves, so we can get a present for Bogner right here. And oh, look at that, Rudolph's up early today. Well, we have a present for you, Rudolph, in the chest. I think it's each season, not each day, that we need to do this. Uh, but we can we can check that. So, hey, dude, I got you a little something, a little something, something. There we go. That's for you. And he's up to 15%. We're getting there. He's he's hard work, but we will win him over eventually. Uh, so let's call our horse. Uh, let's see. There he is. So a horse is still obviously the fastest method of transport. So if we're going like we are now, where we just want to get there as quickly as possible, then the horse is going to be best. But uh, the donkey is, uh, he's, he's the worker. Wait, do you just, like, when you go to work, I've never seen him do this. Do you just walk down the waterfall? That is awesome. Oh no, you just, wait. Listen, I know I haven't been the best husband, but uh, I'm going to get you a gift. I'm literally on my way to get you a gift. Please don't jump. I mean, this is, this is terrifying. To be fair, it's like a really nice view, right? Like we can stand here, we can appreciate this view, but I'm not sure that's what she's doing, right? There's NPCs, I'm not sure that's the point. What I love actually, we can see all the people down there going across the bridge, going to work. Or <laughs> well, actually, they're not going to work just yet. They're going for their morning coffee over by the fireplace. Anyway, she changed her mind. I think it was the promise of that present. We better get over there, actually. We better get the Piastovian back pretty quick so that she's still here when we get back with that gift. Um, clearly, I've been a worse uh, husband than I thought I was. <laughs> okay, so this is the guy that sells stuff. Um, we bought these before, the coverlets, uh, whatever. Um, but I think maybe we should look for something a bit different. You know, get a, something different uh, each time. So what we're looking for now, I think experimenting and trying new things, I think she'll actually like these dates. I, I was going to look through a load of different things, but... What else would she maybe like? You know what, let's get her a couple of things. So we're going to get her the necklace and we're going to get her the dates as well. And we'll just see how that goes. And, and hopefully this works out for us. So thank you to you. Uh, and while we're here, let's go ahead and pay our taxes. I don't know if that quest is actually, is it tracked or not? Let's find out. Uh, we're still on this don't panic quest. I forgot all about this. We need to go back to the lake. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Completely forgot we were doing that. Okay, there goes Mirror God. He's up there. Where's the closest way for us to get up to? Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's pretty simple. So uh, hey, mate, here to play my taxes as always. Um, there you go, end dialogue, 
And uh, yeah, quest complete, paid the taxes. So uh, now we're going to go back to Astoya and we're going to check this quest right here, right? Which is actually now tracked for us. Hopefully this is finally going to be complete. And actually I just realized it'd be good timing if it was because we're going to need to get our density reputation up in order to get some new people in, which is part of what we want to do today. So on that theme, let's actually check the notice board while we're here. Uh, four bronze hammers, absolutely. We're getting a ton of money for that as well. Hunting foxes, not so much. Torches, firewood, and sticks. Yeah, for 200 reputation, fantastic. Okay, so we've got a couple of quests to be getting on with. Uh, let's go and do that. But uh, the first one we want to do is try and complete this one that's been going on for seasons now. So here is the little basket. So once again, let's uh, go over here and have a look at what's going on. Um, oh, there's a note once again. So we check the note, examine it more closely, take it and move on. And now what do we have to do? Well, let's see. Put 10 pike in the basket. So really this quest here was created by this town by the fisherman. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of elaborate hoax. It's almost like a Scooby-Doo mystery. There's this mysterious thing happening and it turns out it's, uh, it's not a ghost or anything like that. It's just some guy who wants more money and that's definitely the fisherman because we keep running to him and uh, buying all the fish. Now in theory, yes, we could catch the fish, I know, but uh, you know, just work with me guys. It's more fun if we think of it this way. <laughs> okay, fisherman, I need to buy some things from you. Uh, Pike, he's got 28 of those, so uh, there we go. We're going to buy 10 of them. Very good. And uh, now what is it we need to do? Do we put them in the basket, I think is what it said, right? So go put 10 pike in the basket. And now it's probably going to tell me to wait until the next season. Now, I forever have been thinking, well, this quest is about to be over, right? It's, I've, had, I've thought it like, I don't know, like six times during this quest. But this time, I really think it might be because we've now bought every type of fish and put in the basket. So you would think that when we finally come back, and it's going to be next season, I'm sure, that then it is done, right? That was the whole thing. We have to get all the different types of fish, and that's the point of this quest. So let's go ahead and uh, check the basket, fill it up with fish, leave the place, and it's going to tell me to check it next season, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, boy, this is this is the longest quest I think I've ever done in this game. Anyway, back to the town for now. At least that's been done. Let's give our wife the uh, gift and see if uh, she likes them. So we're going to surprise the wife at work. There we go. And uh, let me see romance. I've got a little something for you. Let's see. Let's try her with the necklace. See what she thinks of that. Plus seven. Not too bad. She's up to 77. Now, can we give her more than one gift in, in the same season? No, she's, she's just, um, she said, I think I, I saw there just really quickly because I quit out uh, on this conversation that she said, I haven't sold the last thing yet. Just kidding. So it's good. Our girl's got a sense of humor. We like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just put this other gift up in our house for her. I'm just doing that to keep it organized. I know I could just keep it all in the resource storage, but uh, I like to keep things organized in that way. Also, this kind of needs emptying. I've just kind of left it there and not done anything with it. Um, I think we need to move it and maybe move the traps in general, but uh, yeah, all part of uh, our organization today. Okay, we're down to the uh, six requests that we see here, so let's have a look. Uh, what are they and what can we do? Oh, well, hang on, there's one right there from Bronisad. He needs some fertilizer. Now, this is an easy one because I'm sure there is plenty of rot actually over in the uh, the other section, the, the food storage. But whilst we're over here at the resource storage, I want to check something. Uh, manure. Yeah, well, look at that. Almost a thousand manure. And yeah, of course, we cannot carry all that. That's my bad. So let's go. Well, we can't even kick half of it. Anyway, I'm going to make all this pretty much into fertilizer. So I'll do that off camera. And uh, then we'll come and look at clearing some of those other. Uh, I guess it'll be five after this. Hopefully, that's one of them. The other thing I think as well, we need to get an extra uh, saddlebag for our horse. We've got one for the donkey. And I want to have one for the horse so that at all times they're both ready to go in case we need them. So we'll go and buy that as well. Instantly, I did do the quests. So we got some money for that. We're up to 6,000 coins. And also, I didn't see reputation over 4,000 now. So that is fantastic. Very, very cool indeed. I managed to sort out the manure and uh, turn it into fertilizer. But the, the thing still hasn't gone. But uh, his request has gone. So he's doing okay. Uh, let's see what the uh, the other issues are, though. Just noticing there's like quite a few people not working in the town. I want to make sure that none of them are of age. So let's see if we get it like this. Uh, yeah, so as soon as they turn to adults, they do all work, which is good. We've got a lot of children in the town coming through, as you can see. Uh, so let's see what else uh, needs doing. Now, there's no one working at this workshop right here. And also under farming, there's no one working on the barn, which is the barn that we have up on top right there. So maybe this is the next thing to do. Maybe build a couple more houses up there. Get some workers in for like the barn up there. If we build a farm uh, thing up there as well, what's it called? Like a farmer's hut or whatever, farm shed, whatever like this little thing is. We can have people working up at that one then as well from there. And as for the workshop, we need someone else working there. Just wondering actually, do we have any spare houses down here? Any room at uh, any of these to put someone else in? So it's these simple small houses right here. Uh, there's one there. Let's see, one there, 
one there, which is near it, and there's another one there. And I'm not sure exactly where all these are. So we're going to have a little run around and have a look and see who we've got, basically. So let's start with this little house right here that's next to the goats. If we have a look here, um, accidentally click on the barrel. We need to look at that. There we go. So we've got Widdeslaw living in here. She is 31. So we need to get a guy to live in here. So we've got one man that we can get in. And I'm just going to make a note of this on each of the houses so that we can run to this neighborhood as well. In here, we've got a guy and a girl, so don't worry about that. Then in here, we've got just a girl. Uh, is that right? Wait, girl, guy, Nadge. Is that a dude? So we've got purple, we've got blue, and then we've got the gray. So I think the gray color is kids, right? Let's go to age a second. So yeah, the so green is our kid. Then these grayish ones are all the other kids. Then blue is male and purple is female. So Naj is a oh, Nawaja, whatever, is a woman. So we need a man in there and a man back over in this other one. So right now I'm going to head into Piastovia. I'm going to buy the thing for the horse, the uh, the saddlebag thing. And then we're going to see if we can get a couple of men to join our town and get them working in different areas. So the large saddlebag here, uh, it costs uh, 884. It is expensive, but we're just going to go ahead and buy it. I might actually be at the stage where I could have made it, but uh, I wasn't too worried about that. I just wanted to get that bought, and now we have. So down to the fireplace right now, and let's see who's available. And uh, we need to get men in because we actually have space for them. Ideally, we'll get them in, you know, people in without building new houses. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, there's a lot of people here to look at. So let's see. We've got one there for um, extraction, but also farming. That's pretty good. How old are you? 19. You know what? I would like you in. Uh, great to see you there. So we've got a 19-year-old dude. Oh, wait, what's your name? Zelibor. Okay, let's sort you out straight away then. So go to management, go down to the houses. We've got to find the one that had, uh, well, let's see, was it Nadge uh, and someone else? Uh, Nawaja, that's it. She's 21, he's 19. That works quite well. So let's see you, assign you into there. There we go, accept that. Very good. Then what we're going to do is also get you working. And what I'm going to do, I think, because you've got a good uh, farming skill, I'm going to put you in this barn right here. So we're going to assign you, let's see, Zellabor. Yep, there we go. Put you in there. And then we can set this barn. Uh, oh, it's actually just like copies of the other one. So we're making up here some fertilizer, animal feed, and uh, obviously oat grain as well. So that's great. Now the six, right, so all those notifications now should start to clear. And look at that, we've managed to get down to three now from six. So that is fantastic that we've been able to do that with just one worker. Now, is there a guy that has good production? Because we could get the production guy working in the workshop. And you have production of, was it two? Let's see, yeah, so let's see, how old are you? 21, perfect. Uh, so I'm creating a new settlement. Uh, great to see you there. The only thing is, I don't remember the name of the woman that I need uh, him to be with. Let me check that out. So this house right here is Nawaja and Zellabor, and that is, we can see if we click, it's there. So it was one of the houses that's quite near there that's got one out of three. So it's probably this one with Inga. Okay, that's great. So we'll put you in there. Uh, there we go. Jurnad, uh, sure, put you in there. And then in terms of the working, it'll be in the production building. So if we go to production here, uh, workshop two. We could have two people. I really don't think we need it, though, so I'm going to put you in there for now. Uh, we do want two people doing the wood, though, so we need someone with extraction for that. Let's see how many that clears. Oh, we're down to just one. That's so fantastic. Okay, great. Uh, now, what I want to do, though, is make sure if we get onto the um, production building and then down to the workshop, let's see what we're actually making here. So buckets, one of those a day, and wooden bowls as well. I think that's actually fine um, to do to keep it like that. We use the wooden bowls for the gruel we're making, so now we're starting to produce that as well. And buckets are always useful for all the water and stuff too, so that's great. So now we just need, uh, well, actually, what is that other notification? Let's try and figure out what that final one is saying. Oh, barn two here has no assignments, but it also has no one working in it. I'm not sure how that's happened. We did have someone working in the barn. Um, let me just check my people here. No one here is pregnant either. That, that is very, very odd. So I don't know if somebody just like left the town or died or something. It's it's very strange indeed. Um, yeah, I really can't figure out why that has happened. Very, very odd. So we need another farming person, but I need to check the houses because I'm not sure who can actually, you know, live in our town at the moment. Okay, so we have these houses here. One, two, and then the third one down there. Now this one here is the one that's really confusing me. Widdeslaw lives in there and there's no one living with her. So we can get a man in basically to do the uh, farming. Did anyone else here have another good farming skill? Let's see. Not really, but if they're young enough, I'll probably take them. He's 28. How old are you? 26. You know what? That would do... Oh, 4,200. Okay, let's see how close we are to that then. Uh, we need to get another 200 rep. Let's see if we can do that. One thing I've wanted to do in this town for ages and been putting off is sort these gates because they both open this way, which is just really annoying. Um, we did it down at the other end. We fixed them down there a while ago, but I haven't been doing this. So now we're finally going to do this. Let's go into gates here. I believe it's this one, right? 
and we just rotate it around like that. Oh my goodness, this is going to be absolutely heavenly when this is done. I've wanted this for such a long time. Now, there should be a spot. I just had a gate there. Come on, work with me. Okay, this is proving very tricky to get in. It looks like there is just a little spot like there. Okay, there we go. We'll take it. Uh, and then obviously we need to build it. Um, oh, and I'm putting everything away. I do that way too often, actually. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be really nice to have this because when they open the same way, especially on the horse, it's so easy to get through. I can't tell you the amount of times I've messed this up with my horse. And I just go absolutely flying off the horse as I crash it into the fence. So there we go. That's going to be much better. Now, what I'm going to do is head over to Skalky because we're looking to do another quest, of course, to get our reputation up and get the final workers that we need in. So uh, oh, actually, we can test this out on cam. Here we go. And boom, that'd be funny if that didn't work. Uh, so yeah, we're heading over there now. Let's see what this quest is all about. It should be a more in-depth one, um, but hopefully not as long-winded as the one that we're still currently running where we're waiting for the next season. Okay, here's the man, Herm. Let's uh, have a chat with him and press 1 so that we can take the quest and just go through whatever. Um, lie, I won't involve... Hmm. Okay. We, we lied to him. I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, just to see what that was. So what do we have to do? Right, go to Sedouin, hunt badgers, and collect their lard. Now, I've never hunted a badger in this game before, and bring them to Slaw Mira. Uh, three badger lard. Okay, we have to go to Sedouin first, apparently, and bring the medicine back to Herm. All right. Interesting. Okay, so, I mean, is that... I guess we just go hunt the badgers first, right? And then it will unlock some, some stuff for us. So let's go back to our town. We'll gear up with some stuff. We'll find whatever's going to be like the closest uh, badger spot for, uh, for for hunting, and we'll give that a go. Um, something I've never done before, so that's kind of cool at least. Get to do something a bit unique and a bit different. Does it actually say how much we're going to get here as well? Uh, no, it doesn't tell us how much dynasty reputation we're going to get. Okay, well, let's find out together. I've encountered somewhat of a problem, guys. My horse is stuck underwater <laughs> somewhere. I realize this looks really weird. Let me press X and dismount. I might be able to show you guys a bit better. Like, look, she's under there somewhere. And she's kind of stuck, and I don't know how we get her back. Um, wait, yes, I do. I think I do, but this is... <laughs> oh, my goodness, we've glitched through the world. Whoa, this is crazy. Um, all right, I don't think this is this is good. Let's get back off the horse real quick, and hopefully we just... Yep, okay, we're out here. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, if we come over this way, I think if I whistle for her, then, then she'll come out of there. But uh, it's kind of funny. I was a little concerned for a bit that she might be dead even, but I think we're good. So if I whistle... Uh, is she just up here somewhere now? Is she okay? Hopefully. Eclipse, where are you? Oh dear, she's like under the world, I think. She's like underneath me right now. Or she's invisible or something. Wait, hold on. Did I just see her? Let's see. She's like, yeah. Okay, we can... Oh, we're back, <laughs> we're back under here. Woo! All right, let's try and... <laughs> what is going on here? All right, let's get off her and uh, we'll keep trying to whistle. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Oh, there's a bear. I actually quite need her right now as well to escape from the bear. I don't have any weapons on me. Oh, it, he's not going to quit. Okay, this is actually quite close to our town as well. All right, well, at least we can run home. But uh, yeah, this isn't great. All right, come on, Eclipse. Let's see if we can get you out of there. Oh boy, the rescue is on. Hey, there she is. She made it. She got back out. Oh, I was actually quite worried. You, uh, I've got kind of attacked. Wait, did I see a badger? Is that a badger just there? Let's check on the map a second for animals. Um, where are we right now? We are here. Um, uh, is that a badger right there? Yeah, it is indeed, guys. There it is, badger. So it's actually really close to our town. That's, that's super, super helpful. So once we've got something to actually be able to hunt them with, then hopefully this won't take too long. It's getting a bit dark, though, so I might wait until the next day. Okay, I've got my bow on me, and I've got some stone arrows, and there is a badger just over there. Damn, did he see me already? Oh, boy. All right, let's see if we can uh, get him. All right, let's see if we can land that shot there. Man, these things are kind of tough. I actually think I prefer hunting in first person. We're kind of getting him towards the edge of a cliff, though, so we might be all right here. He's not going to have many places to go. I'm hoping we can one-shot him when we do finally hit him. Okay, kind of cheaty. He got stuck on the tree there, so we should now be able to kill him. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, he slid down. <laughs> that's quite graphic. So let's see. We can now just skin him, and I'm guessing that's going to be... Uh, it is three badgers we need to kill, right? Because it was three of something we need. So we got lard, is it supposed to get? Yeah, badger lard. Okay, cool. So on this right here, we now have one of the three that we need. I wonder if we could just buy it as well. Maybe there's somewhere you can buy it in the game. Um, and in fact, the badger lard, let's see, where is that? Oh, okay, maybe it's just actually a, a theoretical item because it's not showing up in my inventory. So we get meat and fur from the badgers. Um, but the badger lard, I guess it's tied to the quest to stop you from doing what I just said and buying it. And uh, then that way you have to actually kill them. So uh, it's getting a bit dark. We might have to finish this in the morning. I was just going to see if I could quickly kill three of them. 
but we'll see how we go. I don't know if badgers can't see you when you're on a horse or something, but there's one right here. Okay, now he runs away. Um, okay, let's see. Can we get him? Probably about... Oh, dude, stop moving. Oh, wow. Did we hit that? I think we hit that. I think I think that was a hit. Now we just have to keep following him. Is he two hits, is he? Okay, let's keep going. He's off this way somewhere. And there we go. He ran right at us and we killed him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, almost like cheating. So that's two down. Just one more to go. I am actually in a new badger spot. I thought I'd come to a new one. I might get more joy from that. Um, it's raining and misty, which isn't ideal. But uh, we got that first one pretty quick. So now we're just looking for one more. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, we killed all three badgers. So uh, let's see the next thing there. Uh, so we've done that. That's great. Deliver to Slawamira the, the three badger lard. So does that show up on the on the map as a quest? Let's see if we go back to... Uh, no, this way to Maine, isn't it? There we go. Um, doesn't look like it. Surely it does. Uh, while we're here, actually, I've got a skill point to spend on hunting just from doing that. So let's see if there's anything here we want to do. This one's kind of cool, tracking animals in inspector mode. So I'm just going to put that one on for now. That seems good. Uh, but I really am confused as to why... Oh, actually, I know why. I need to track the quest. Ha ha ha. All right, now it definitely shows up. And there's two things showing up in Piastovia and another one down here. Okay, just to keep me on my toes. Why is that? Really not sure, but let's just head into Piastovia and uh, there's two there. So chances are it's going to be that one, right? Like theoretically... Well, it feels like one of those things, like, you know, now that I've said that, it won't be. <laughs> but still, we'll give it a go. Okay, Slamira was in, in Piastovia, so we just delivered that to her. And uh, I just want to see what this other one is right here. Sedowin. Oh, okay, because did we say that we were going to chat to him at the same time? Let's have a look here if we go on this. Um, optional is to go to Sedowin. Just because I'm making content, I am going to speak to him just to see what happens. Because um, we, said, we, we lied to the other guy and said that we wouldn't, so... I wanted to do that just to, you know, for you guys, right? You can see what happens here. Now we're going back to Herm. He's over in Skalki, of course. So we'll go to him and uh, that should be the end of the quest, hopefully. And then we'll get our reward. All right, let's see what this guy says when we chat to him. Um, is it you then? Uh, no, it's you. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's see. Give Slaramiras or Sedowins. Well, we'll do Sedowin because that's what we've done. Okay, so there we go. Um, so, you know, that's all good. Okay, now we're going to wait till the next season again. Really? Man, these quests, they keep making me wait seasons. All right. I mean, hopefully that other medicine I gave him, which it looks like he's given to his wife, like hopefully she doesn't die or anything. Uh, I'd feel a little bit bad about that. We're only halfway through the day. So, I mean, I'm just going to have to make myself busy because our next thing, all we're trying to do is clear that final one thing, right? That's uh, an issue here. And in order to do that, we need to get our dynasty reputation up. The good thing is, if this is a quest that does clear in the next season and we get some dynasty reputation from that, we're also going to get like 300 reputation for doing the other quest as well. Uh, let's just put that on there. So yeah, we've got like this one right here, 300 uh, reputation for that. This one here is still not showing any rewards. It just shows objectives. But whereas like this one here shows what I'm getting, this one here doesn't for some reason. Anyway, we'll see together how that goes. But hopefully if we get a good amount of reputation from each of them, and we can get a lot of people in and finish off our town management for uh, well for a while. But in the future, it's something I think I'm going to need to keep on top of a bit more often uh, rather than letting it get to the state it was in today. The start of a new season means we can start looking at our quests. And, oh, there you are, Eclipse. I just called her. And uh, hopefully they, they will both be done. So what we're going to do is head down to Astoya. I just want to double check, but I'm pretty sure that like the Don't Panic one... Yeah, check out the site near the lake. So we're going to go do that right now. Once the Astoya one is done... That, wait, hold on. Is that? Oh, no. It's, it's this blue thing. I'm, I'm following the quest line. I should be following the blue thing. Uh, that one is probably the other thing. You see, I didn't quite manage to plant all my flax in time. <laughs> Ran out a bit of time there. Um, it's a big field, but to, to be fair, we don't need it to be full every season. And we had other priorities at the moment. Anyway, let's go and try and complete this new quest and see what the outcome is of that. And then we can hire that final person. Okay, here is the basket. And we are really hoping we can just complete this quest right now. Um, or at least this season would be good. So we take the note once again. Read the message, da da da. Um, basket of coins, interesting. We can check that. Put coins in your. Wait, hold on. Let's press. Can we can we escape out of this or something? I probably should have read the thing first. So press one. Get back to your life. Um, oh, it's done. Okay, great. So we got five hundred coins. We got three hundred reputation. The quest is now done. My goodness, I'm glad that one's done. <laughs> that was that was. Uh, it took forever. Okay, so now we got to head to this next quest line right down here in Skalki. Is that right? Yeah, 1300-ish uh, meters to go. And hopefully we can finish this quest too. So I just managed to do a huge amount of stuff without actually recording it, which is fantastic. Um, so basically, I we got here, we did the quest, and unfortunately the guy's wife died. So don't go down that route of the quest. 
you don't get any resources and the wife dies. So that's pretty horrendous. I feel pretty bad for that. The quest is now complete, at least so that's done. You might notice in the top left, everything has been taken care of as well. We got a couple new people, well, one new person, I should say, into the town and uh, everyone is now assigned. All jobs are being taken care of. And that actually feels so, so good, to be honest, guys. It's something that we really wanted to do for a long time. Now I'm just going to keep on top of it a bit more often. <laughs> uh, yeah, I shouldn't let it get quite to that state, should I? Uh, anyway, a bit more of an organizational video today, but one that was uh, needed. Hope you guys still enjoyed it. And if you did, please do consider subscribing. Uh, and for now, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.